Hi Virgo, welcome to your April 2023 general reading. My name is Michelle. This is for Sun and Rising Signs. Virgo, I'm tapping into your energy for the month of April. Leaving this open to spirit, general messages that come through for you. So whatever spirit has to say to you, Virgo, let's, uh, let's remain open to the channel of communication from spirit for Virgo. For the earth sign Virgo, sun and rising for the month of April. Spiritual messes, messages for Virgo. Okay, let's see. Virgo, don't forget to press that thumbs up button, guys. What I'll be doing is I'm going back to the old way of what I used to do back in years gone by. Some of you will remember. I'll be releasing the next set of videos in order of the videos this month that receive the most likes. So if you'd like to get your video out to be one of the first out, then don't forget to press that thumbs up button, guys. Okay. Virgo, let's use the Oracle of Mystical Moments, which is the companion piece to the tarot that I'm using today. And let's get to your message for April. Virgo, for April, what is the message here for Earth sign Virgo for the month of April for my Virgos. What is the message? Like a bird. I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. So what are you flying away to? Or what are you flying from? Hmm. Okay, well let's see. We'll have a look at your spirit animal or your familiar for the month of April. Let's see. What is Virgo's spirit animal? For the month of April, for Earth sign Virgo, what is their spirit animal? We got the honeybee. The honeybee. Okay, I'm getting an energy around you of uh, strategic strategy, um, strategic strategy, <laughs> uh, strategy rather. There's an energy of, when we think about bees, we think of productivity. But I also see this as working together. Now, of course, we have uh, the, the queen bee, which is uh, something that the uh, all of the honey bee, honey bees serve. So I'm getting an energy around this of hmm, an exchange of some kind. An exchange. Now, I'm not sure what that's about. It could be a, I'm getting in a working environment. For some of you, you want to leave a working environment. Uh, lots of worker bees and, and then there's this boss energy the queen bee like the boss and that person is, is sitting fat and happy there while all the worker bees do all of the work uh, could be that uh, there could be a lot of gossip or chatter in in the workplace as well which is distracting uh, annoying to you virgo it may not be about you it just could be about just um, things in general what's what's going on in the tv that kind of thing uh, distracting some of you you have distractions in the workplace because you, you don't enjoy what you're doing so you're distracting yourself possibly with conversations I uh, get a scattered energy around you so Virgo let's see what is the energy that is around Virgo for April the energy around Virgo please for April we've got the big big spite big 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 spite never heard of that stone so uh, let me look that up in the book here guys give me a moment it's number nine the big spite okay this is about drive courage full speed ahead and spirited action so no hesitation here a time to move forward with conviction with courage and total determination taking a deep breath and moving full speed ahead with forceful action a fierce kind of energy being forcing through the obstacles feeling very driven to break free of the chains binding you to something that you feel is unhealthy there's an energy around you of advocating for yourself unapologetically and being very unshakable in your belief that you are worthy of achieving the goal okay fearless action fearless action i get a lot of it has to do with with your working environment here Virgo, let's get your advice. <clears throat> 
Advice here for Virgo, please. Advice for Virgo. I get you breaking free from this, this honeybee energy. Taking control of your own narrative, okay? You want to take control of, um, of your life. Uh, you feel like uh, a work or work has gotten in control of you or you're, you're working for others. I uh, get puppet master kind of energy around you, uh, Virgo. Some of you, it could be, it doesn't have to be a, a working environment, it could be family. Uh, something that you no longer want to serve. Uh, there's something that doesn't serve you. You want to serve yourself. You want to be your own boss. You want to be, you write your own narrative. You want to fly free from somebody else, somebody else's narrative. Okay, Virgo, let's take a look. The Eight of Swords, yeah, here's this energy of you sitting in this cage, but you see that it's cracking open. It's not actually, it's not actually a restriction. It's a, it's something that has, you felt restricted by, but you're gaining your wings here. You're gaining wings. You're, you're learning how to be free, how to live free. Oh, okay. I like that energy around you, Virgo. To live a freer life, free from something that you feel has driven you. Um, it's a little bit like being in control of your own vehicle rather than having somebody else drive. It feels like you've had somebody else driving driving forward and you've just been going along for the ride well now you're taking control taking control of the wheel and freeing yourself from something that you felt restricted by okay king of cups well i've got this is uh this is you this is a, an energy of um it, it's interesting you know i'm seeing this ship going through the mountain here and this this mountain is, is this this person's dress but it's actually a mountain it's made of stone but right through this this mountain is this archway where this ship is coming through so I'm seeing this as you breaking through the barriers breaking through any obstacles being very determined and fixed when it comes to uh, the motivation your motivation you want to free yourself that's what's driving you here is to be free to live free to not be to not be restricted uh, Virgo whether that's a job it could be a relationship for some of you too six of Pentacles here's that uh, exchange that I was picking up that reciprocity uh, something that you give a lot to but haven't received a lot from it could be as i said for a lot of you a job where you work and work and work and you get a paycheck yes but you don't get what you feel is an equal exchange for your hard work uh, you feel like somebody else's cup is being filled here and yours you're constantly having to go back to the well here for more for more for more meanwhile others are getting their turn you feel like you want your fair share, your fair turn. Uh, you want uh, you want reciprocity. You want something equal exchange to what others are getting. Right in the center is the Four of Swords. This is uh, inactivity, just resting, but resting very uncomfortably. Um, it feels like people give you just enough. Uh, maybe in this workplace they give you just enough to stay. You know, it, it, it's not so bad that you feel like, gosh, I've really got to quit or I've really got to get out of this situation because it's so horrible. No, it's not that. I mean, you, you seem to get something out of it. You, you get a certain amount, but you feel like you don't get enough. So it's, it's just that energy of complacency that I'm picking up around you, Virgo. I'm picking it up as complacency, like... Um, yeah, it's, it's like feeling feeling restricted, but also feeling somewhat safe in that restriction as well, because it it, um, it you can use it as an excuse to avoid using those uh, newfound wings of yours that want to fly free, that want to do something of your own, that want to follow your passions. Hmm. Okay. 
We've got the Four of Wands. Yeah, there's four energy. Four of Swords and Four of Wands. Feels to me like being comfortable and, and looking around at what you have. Again, I get it as having enough. You, know, you don't need more. Um, there's gratitude here for what you do have. There's an energy around this of... Okay. This bird energy that I'm picking up around you, Virgo. I'm seeing this as duality. And I'm seeing it with the Six of Pentacles too. I see this as twos, an energy of twos. And the feeling that I'm getting around you, Virgo, is one of, of share and share alike. Share and share alike. An expectation of generosity from others if you give. Yeah. You're a very giving person, very generous person. You're certainly generous when it comes to your time and your work ethic. You, you'll do, you, you will work hard. You'll be loyal to a, a workplace. You'll be all of that. You won't take time out. You, you'll, you'll work hard for a living. But you do and you should expect reciprocity from whoever you're showing that 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 beautiful virgo virgoness to <laughs> for want of a better term um yeah reciprocity and there's an energy around this of having your needs met an expectation of having your needs met them just giving enough okay um, i'm getting an energy here of a milestone reaching a milestone uh, if for some of you you could be asking for a raise and receiving it let's see two of cups yeah that, that's that energy of two that I was picking up just now reciprocity for a lot of you Virgos you do feel like um, you have to do all the work wherever you are hopefully it's not a relationship where you feel you have to do all the work it could be for some of you but for a lot of you i feel it's a more it's more about a job or career where you feel like you're you're the one that's doing everything some of you feel like you have to do everything because you're the only one that that can do it i'm getting that uh, i do get you avoiding avoiding yeah I, I get you, you you tend to work alone you you, you work alone best um you, you for a lot of my virgos out there you, you do you're more of a solo player rather than a team player although you are a hard worker loyal the work ethic is there you get the job done but you're not so into the whole work atmosphere like getting around and talking about what's what's happening and on the TV and all of that you'd rather just put your head down and get the work done and get home um, get your projects completed yeah because uh, I don't think that you like being around the, these people in the workplace I get it mainly as a people issue uh, it may not be the work no, like you, you might be able to do the work okay, the work is alright, but it's the people that you may have an issue with. Okay, yeah, for a lot of you, it's it's, it's like um, small talk, thing, things like that. That um, listening to people. Okay, we've got the lovers here. I feel like for some of you, you, you do have, the, you don't get along with people in your workplace, but you do have someone around you who is a, a, a lover, could be a spouse, uh, someone you're married to, could be a, a partner, a, a friend, or um, someone that you, again, I get this bird energy. This bird, I feel that this is talking, uh, opening up speaking speaking aloud to someone around you about what's going on uh, 
Um, yeah. Speaking about what you'd like to do. I get an energy here of, of moving mountains. You know, you feel like you're moving mountains. And I feel that someone around you, this, this lover energy, would move mountains for you. You'd move mountains for, for them. They would move mountains for you. Or that's what you're... That's what you're hoping for. It, it's, it feels very much like a support, an energy of support, supporting each other. Okay. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. To, to follow your dreams, to follow your passions. I feel like this person around you is supporting you, um, motivating you, um, saying hey Virgo you know why don't why don't you uh, why don't you uh, do something that that you feel called to do um, something that uh, that your soul wants you to do this is living living true to yourself rather than being restricted by um, this this other situation which is is complacent I, I feel that it's it's something that gives you just enough to keep going. Like it's like the hamster on the wheel, right? Where that hamster will just keep going round and round and, and, and to, to get the, the feed. Um, but it, it's not going anywhere. There's no growth there. It, it's, it's just a dead end situation. It just keeps going round and round and round. Wanting that, um, wanting that, that uh, what it get, like I get here, it's like a paycheck, you know, you get the paycheck from your workplace and rinse and repeat. You go and do it the next week and the week after and the week after and the week after. And we've got the moon up here. Yeah, um, Virgo, there's an energy around this of uncertainty um, uncertainty when it comes to the path ahead you've got something that is that you're currently involved in you're not that happy about it but it gives you just enough to keep you there I feel that there's a, there's, a, there's a, an energy around you of wanting to fly free, to gain your freedom. I do feel that there's, there's support around you, for this lover's energy. Uh, someone who wants to see you living your, your best life, wants you to, uh, to feel brand new. There's an energy around this of this woman she's coming out of this lotus now as we all know the lotus is a symbol of rebirth coming out of the mud there's an energy here of unsticking yourself from a sticky situation and somebody having your back i, I do get that hmm. yeah reciprocity reciprocity for some of you you are wanting to be with someone this lover but you feel that uncertain about your future and you want there to be more certainty with your future before you make them some kind of offer with that knight of cups that's for some of you uh, some of you are avoiding a love connection at the moment while you deal with this work situation which you're wanting to get to get to uh, to get more stable when it comes to your um, your, your working life or your uh, your money but then I get this very strong energy with this big spite and I want to talk a bit more about the big spite because uh, what I'm getting around that is action you know uh, this four of swords here it tells me that there's inaction but there's a lot of potential here for action but something that needs to be nourished mm. uh, for a lot of you, you you're tired you're tired from your work uh, you spend so much time working that you can't nourish your relationships uh, although you have this lover around you 
Um, some of you may be uh, taking some time away from work in order to nourish a, a, a loving relationship that you have with somebody. You could be taking a, a break from work uh, to, to refeed the energy between you and a lover to get that going again. That's for some of you. Uh, for connecting, uh, reconnecting with someone you care about. Uh, reaching out to, and if it's somebody new, I feel like you want to reach out, um, spend some time with them, get to know them better. Uh, spirit wants you to focus on what, yeah, I get a prioritizing a relationship if, uh, rather than avoidance. I get this energy of you avoiding people, um, you're avoiding people. Mainly because you, you, you feel like you can't, you, you feel very restricted. Um, I, th I feel it has a lot to do with this working environment where you feel like you don't have the energy. You just, at the end of the day, you just want to sleep or you just want to cool up, uh, watch TV. I get more of a distraction, distractions around you. So yeah, I get an energy here of if, if you want to get to know someone better, if you want to connect or reconnect with somebody, then you're going to have to take some time away from the working situation and make an effort to focus on love. Um, that's for some of you. Now, for others of you here, Virgo, you're a rare, you're a rare person. You know, the big spider is rare. I mean, I've never heard of it. So there's an energy around this of um, whatever you do, you, whatever you do, you you pack a big punch. Uh, like like you, you 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 come with this big energy. So when you decide to do something, everyone knows about it. It's not a small energy. It's it's a large energy. And there's a feeling here of nothing standing in your way once you once you decide on something. You know this this King of Cups energy. I feel that this is this is you here. This this ship energy, just almost forcing your way through this stone, through this mountain with determination, with, with force, this forceful energy around you, the force of emotion. Oh yeah, I, I get a, a very strong emotional energy around you that's, that's driving, uh, that's driving this. And it's interesting that I said driving there because what I'm getting around you Virgo is you getting back in control of the wheel. You getting back in control of the wheel. So it feels like You may have taken some time away from a loved one or a lover to get control of your life, to feel more in control of yourself, control of the narrative, control of you. That's for that's for the majority of my Virgos. I feel it's it's that's that's the energy that I'm picking up overall. And a lot of you have focused on this honeybee energy. Uh, a lot of you are, but the, the thing is, while you're working, and, and you're working for, for good things, you're working to uh, for a better future, you're working to, to put money in the bank, you're doing all of the, the, the right things in your life, Virgo. But what you can't do is ignore love or your loved ones. You can't ignore a connection because otherwise, uh, I do feel that that that, that may uh, that may struggle in the future. 
so rather than let it go rather than let it just dissipate uh, there's something that you need to do to take control of where this is going and I feel that, that that you can do that I feel that by taking some time away from your work and focusing your energy there you, you need to focus a little bit more you know, balance right reciprocity on 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 this loved one who may be feeling neglected Some of you may have neglected your emotions, your emotional health, uh, or a loved one because uh, you, you've been so... There's something here that you feel you, you... There's an energy of can't. Now, I'm not sure what that is, guys. So let me get a, uh, a message from this deck here. Uh, what exactly the restriction is, other than, than work. Uh, let's see it may just be work you know for some of you soaring into joy yeah there's an energy here of wanting to your inner child wants to come out and play and have fun and following your heart you know having fun with somebody else here uh, rather than focusing primarily on money and uh, the gaining of that and 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 fairness and, and justice. I feel that a, a lot of you are very focused on an unjust situation, possibly in the workplace. Meanwhile, I get an, an energy around you of someone, a loved one, who could uh, potentially fly away from you here. You know, this bird energy. Uh, this this person could could fly away from you here. If they are neglected, Virgo. So there's an energy here of making sure uh, that if you have been, God, I hate to use the term bread crying, but for some of you, you have. For some of you, you've just been giving uh, someone around you um, just enough to keep them going, to keep them around, to, to let them know that you're still interested, but you haven't really gotten to know them you haven't really connected you've just been giving just a the bare minimum because you've been so focused on work and, and everything else in your life and there's a need to balance out the scales there and focus on this person um, otherwise I feel if they if if someone is getting breadcrumbed here I feel that that person could walk away because they feel that uh, that uh, you're not 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 existing in the relationship that you're not there now that of course can be reversed energy for some of you that could be you uh, that's feeling that way as well uh, Virgo so yeah Ooh, there's a need here to get control of a situation before it gets out of control and, and I feel that just in the nick of time this message is coming in for you to make the choice to nurture a connection if that's what you want if that's what you want, rather than uh, putting your energy towards something that you, you, you're not really, you know, for, I get a lot of you are putting all of your focus and attention on something that isn't paying off for you, which could be a workplace, something that you've got no intention of, uh, of staying with. And while you're doing that, what you really want is, is disappearing into, into, the, into the distance because you, you haven't uh, paid it attention. Uh, so there's a need to make sure that you maintain focus. I'm not saying, you know, I'm, I'm not saying uh, quit your job if, if you're not in a position to do so. I mean, you, you guys use your common sense, use your uh, intuition when it comes to to that but I feel that you can have both here but you need to focus more on the uh, on the lover here more on your, your loved one in order to uh, to make sure that they're not just being again I get that horrible term breadcrumbed I hate that term but that, that seems to be the energy that I'm picking up here you want to make sure that this person feels some reciprocity from from you uh, yeah it can't just be 
it can't it can't just be one-sided energy because that person will walk away whether that's you or the other person same goes with a job if, if you feel like it's all one-sided you're not getting what you need out of it then I get walking away possibly with a loved one to something else that brings you joy you know? the call of the wild I'm getting that the call of the wild the call of the unknown uh, is calling to you Virgo um, it's your soul you know you're gonna get knock knock your soul is calling it wants you to live true to to your heart it wants to live wants you to live from that heart heart space I get for a lot of you you've been given an opportunity to begin again to start over possibly with a lover which could be a connection a new connection or for some of you a reconnection and you're being asked to fully embrace that fully step into that yes mm. so Virgo I'm gonna leave it there and wish you all the very best with this if you'd like a personal reading you can email me gypsyinsights at gmail.com or you can go to my Etsy store the link is down below gypsy insights tarot and purchase directly there don't forget to press that thumbs up button share me on your social media with a Virgo that you know and love and if you're a newcomer I would love to have you subscribe Thank you as always to my podcast listeners on Apple, Spotify and Amazon Music. And thank you to all of my YouTube viewers. You guys are the absolute best. Love you guys. Bye Virgo.